Hi, everybody. This is Jamie Buterf. Uh, what, what you're looking at here is an AutoCAD program. And I've uh, got the vesica pisces and the trivesica pisces here. And what I want to do is compare these with the 432 hertz tone um, and the Tryon ray from Michael R. Evans and John Stuart Reed. Uh, this is the Tryon ray from Michael R. Evans. And the 432 hertz tone cymatics um, from um, John Stuart Reed. And I wanted to show how these shapes, the trivesica and the vesica pisces, uh, were, were created and how these fit in here. So on the vesica pisces, uh, according to uh, Michael R. Evans, the trion ray is made of uh, uh, three vesica pisces sections, okay, or lenses. So when you take the vesica pisces, the vesica pisces, and you uh, create two spheres in their place and subtract it to you, you get this shape. Now let me, now let me show you what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw uh, a sphere, two spheres in here. Right now they're just circles. So I'm going to draw a sphere here uh, of one unit so it fits. And then another one, one unit. And now what I'm going to do is modify solid editing and intersect. So what I'm going to do with this, with this um, is I'm going to select these objects and delete everything except where these objects intersect. And when I do that, I get that uh, that lens, this trion ray, or uh, a third of a trion ray, which is this lens here, okay? But I don't think putting three of those together to form the trion ray is accurate because it doesn't fit right. This, the, the geometry is just a little different. So what I did then did was I tried a trivesica pisces where I've got three circles and I create and I came up with this one, okay? So I'll, I'll do this one uh, again, 3D, draw a sphere. So I'll fill these in with 3D spheres. Same length, one unit. All right, now we're gonna modify solid editing intersect. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna delete everything except where these three spheres come together. Okay, and we get this here, which is the same as that. So down here is the same, uh, the same object. I just rotated it so it would fit in here. Let me show you what happens when I take this object and put it in here. It's a little bit more of a better fit, right? I mean, it fits, seems to fit beautifully within the Tryon ray. All right, now what this Tryon ray is, is when um, the 432 hertz tone was being uh, created, it created these loops around here, okay, which, which created this hole in the center. Okay, let me move this guy out of the way so we can see here. All right, it created this hole here in the center. Now, what this is, is what, what the Tryon ray or what the 432 hertz tone cymatics is telling us is that there is something going through here that is creating these ripplings, okay, is creating this. Now, somebody sent me uh, a YouTube video or, uh, on my Facebook about this guy here, all right? Now this is a little bit dark, but there's a guy sitting at the bottom of the ocean, okay? And what he's doing in this picture, all right, here's his legs, here's his chest, his arms, if you can see that, uh, you can see the, the, his goggles. He's laying on the bottom of the ocean and he's, he blew these, uh, these air bubbles, these toroidal air bubbles. And what I wanna show you is something very interesting. All right, all right, I just backed it up a little bit. So what we're getting ready to do is uh, play this and show you how these bubbles move. All right, there's the first one. All right, here comes the second one. I paused it. Now watch. What's what happens here is this this smaller toroid of bubbles gets sucked up through this this one and then stops. It'll expand and then pull the other one through it. Watch this. Bam, bam. You see that? I mean, that's that's amazing. What this is telling me and what we're seeing here is with, with these two toroids, what we're seeing is that's just air, right? That's being trapped. Okay, the air isn't really doing anything. It's just being trapped by uh, an unseen force that is doing this, okay? Just like the, 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 uh, the 432 hertz cymatic tone is doing. It is doing, you can see them. They're rippling around here like a toroid almost, but it's not completely toroidal. It's... It's a little, it's trion ray shape like, right? So in this, in this video here, 
All we're seeing are the bubbles, but we don't see that the forces behind the action. All right, here, I'll play that one again so you guys can see it. It's really amazing. Play it back. See that interaction? They just pull each other through, okay? They keep pulling each other through. Now, this is what's going on here. So what we're seeing is the action around the edges, but what we don't see is the toroidal. The, this, I believe, is the action that takes place in the center. Uh, this should actually be the trion ray shape that the 432 hertz tone uh, is, creates through, or the hole that goes through the center. And it's done with a trivesica pisces instead of a vesica pisces. And there's a cathedral here, and you can see that shape there as well. Okay, it's not, it is this shape here. As a matter of fact, if we uh, pull this out and rotate it, you'll see that it fits in there uh, very well. You can see the curved shape there. You just don't have the other one at the bottom. So anyway, um, I just wanted to get this out and show how the trivesica pisces, it seems to me like it's more the shape for the trion ray and the 432 hertz tone than it is the vesica pisces because you have to take actually three of these and then stack them together. And I'm not sure that that's, that's how it's worked. That's how it's done. I think it's more of this shape here. All right. So anyway, oh, maybe I should turn that around Did I, um, so you guys can see what it looks like um, rotated. Let's try that real quick. Uh, view, orbit, free orbit. All right, rotate that around. See how it looks like a football? It's pretty. It's pretty amazing shape. It looks like a uh, a pyramid at some angle. It looks like a football. It's the shape of an almond. And then also, one of the really cool things is that when you um, bring these, uh, when you separate these, let's see if we can get this to happen over here away from everything else. If I take these, oh, it's not going to let me do it. Let me take this one over here. I'll take it down here out of the way. See if I can explode this one. All right. We're going to get this one away over here a little bit. This one up here. And this one down there. Now, I've got these uh, three separate shapes of the trivesica. Now look at this, this is pretty interesting. We're gonna orbit this thing a little bit, check it out. You see how these look like leaves? Little, little three leaves or little boats. Definitely a shape in nature we see quite often. One, but one of the other things is, if you look at these things in, three, in 2D, you start to see, like on this one, you see how a heart starts to come out. And it's just an optical illusion, right? 3D, because a lot of these enneagrams and these 2D depictions, Marco Roden's uh, uh, um, mathematical fingerprint of God, those are all 2D representations of 3D. But if we do it like this in AutoCAD and we do things in 3D, we can start to see of what, how things might look like in nature. So anyway, uh, just wanted to... Uh, to show you guys this uh, about how the trivesica might be more along the lines of what we're looking for rather than uh, just the regular vesica, which creates a lens. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to get this out. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching.